it's something that no one's doing and we can be a pioneer in it. And I guarantee you there's gonna be droves of people that are gonna to wanna to do the same thing. Good job. Yeah. You're pressing your vibe. Yo, what up guys, it's Gary Vee, and it's time for the daily bread. Give us our daily bread. I want the whole basket. Cause I'm a hustle till I get it or I'm in a casket. Passionate for providing value in every way. Not cashing in for providing value every day. Paying it forward, right thing, I'll do it till I'm dead. I hope you're hungry cause it's time for the daily bread. Ricky is like fired up to really take the helm and lead, uh, take the lead on yeah. on Hook Media, and he is. I think it's going to stretch him to the next level, and I think also that he has been just being equipped for it over his life, like legit. And uh, I told him yesterday. I said I feel like his creative ability, with his like just insane ability of he thinks so logically, like he has the creative aspect and then the very logical aspect that married together is like beautiful and is, is exactly what we need to Amanda, we have some work to do so you could uh... <laughs> I'm okay, I'm telling like you, you're tired. You have to give me a moment to edify this movie. Sorry, sucker. I'm out of here, peace. Yeah, the world's gotten into you. <laughs> Club. <laughs> 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 that glow is right, so here. I understand what Amanda was trying to do in coming in here and talking good about you, which I completely agree. I, mean, I am fired up about what's about to happen, and uh, and I think this is one of the better things that we've done. I know putting this team together mm -hmm. and especially with you at the helm leading it here in the home office and all the content manager creative specialist um, it's uh, it's gonna be fun to see what happens yeah it's gonna sure. be really fun for sure and uh, we'll always look back on this meeting and think remember the first time we had a meeting <laughs> um, but uh, value of an idea can only truly be weighed in the execution of it that is a fact uh, meeting purpose to increase and celebrate the impact of No Hook Media as a value engine through the collaborative of st collaboration of strategic, creative, and intentional ideas with measurable results. Anytime we come up with an idea, it's got to be measurable, right? Yeah. Um, we have to be able to see its impact. Meeting outcome, leave the meeting with purposeful action plans for implementing agreed upon ideas, right? So we don't ever do meetings um, without having a purpose. There's, there's never a reason, like, Companies, the bigger they grow, I feel like they get together to meet just so they can have something on their fucking calendar. Yeah. And that's ridiculous. There has to be a reason for us to take our lives and stick them in a room for an hour or two hours. Right? Like, I could spend this with my daughter. So there has to be a reason for me to come and do this as opposed to being with, being with Arden, right? Mm -hmm. Or being with your, with mate. Um, how about said your mate? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> your mate. Your mate. Or there's Maitland. <laughs> All right, so Tyler, you want to talk about the vision and the mission of Notebook Media and let's talk about defining the roles after that. And then let's put some action items together coming out of here. Yep. And you guys are going to be here an hour longer than me and Tyler. We've got to step into the other meeting in 45 minutes. But uh, Yeah, so, I mean, there's kind of short-term and long-term. Um, I think long-term I could start with is being able to scale this machine, which the machine now is just in each of us individually. Um, as far as creating an impact, providing value, but not just having those words be just words people say because that's what you're supposed to say. And I think not monetizing on the front end is the way we've been able to do that. But now build, being able to build an infrastructure out to where we can monetize not in what we do as far as selling to the people that follow, but being able to potentially scale and teach other people how to do what we do so that they can also not monetize, but we can monetize by teaching them how to not monetize. Like we can monetize 
what we've done by just showing other people how to do it and giving them the blueprint and, and being able to um, build out the infrastructure for them to where we can take over a lot of other people's social media and, and these things and make revenue by doing so and giving them the ability to do what we're doing as well. Um, which the cool thing about that is like we would only do it for people that have the same ideals and the same vision that we do. Um, but there's a growing, growing need for that. It's cra I mean, the whole vlogging and this documenting, it's only gonna get more and more prevalent, um, or at least more and more socially acceptable. <laughs> um, everyone's gonna be doing it, no, one, no one's figured it out. Um, and I think the way we're doing it is extremely unique, but the way we're doing it is extremely inefficient right now. And so that's why this process has to be put in place. I know. Like when we brought TJ on and doing the daily vlog with me, like it's elevated everything and it's made everything more chaotic. But it's because I love doing it and I'm willing to do that. Um, but the general idea, and I think Joseph will do a better job at, is like with Gary, Gary has the daily vlog because he lets everyone else create all the content from that daily vlog and it enables him to not really have to do much of anything to create posts mm -hmm. and create content because it's all curate, curated from that video of you. Whereas me, I'm just way, I'm just like way too hands on because I actually enjoy that part. You know that when you put something out there, you love doing it and you mm -hmm. love creating it. But as we grow this, it's going to have to be something that you let go and yeah. somebody else build your house. But yeah, so like, but building out this infrastructure to where like, if there's like, if I had 80 hours in a day. Like there are a million different things that you should do and that you can do. It's just trying to figure out um, what we have the ability to do. And then now figuring out with the team and when we bring Caitlin on, um, how much of that stuff can actually get done. Yeah. I think... As far as the actual vision, I mean, the vision needs to be based on like the impact we can make. And I think we need to like literally start compiling all the messages we get, um, just because it'll be cool to have that like in a place where you can actually read it, like on a wall somewhere. Because I think for us to make that more tangible for people to understand, like even for people in this office, like a random person that works here to be able to be like, why are they doing, like, what is this meeting about? Like, what are they spending money on? What is this? And then to be able to look at this wall and be like, did you read that one right there? Like, like literally I got a message the other day that I helped someone um, quit a 20 year pain pill addiction. Mm. 20 year, and he's now completely off of them. I promise you there's shit that, when you lay your head on your pillow at night that you beat yourself up about over and over and over because you've gone around the same tree. Over and 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 over, TJ, you have. There's something that you've gone around that same tree. All of us have. I go around the same tree, and it's not until you can latch onto something where somebody else beat that, chop that tree down, mm -hmm. and ground the stump out of the ground, and now it's a beautiful green knoll. <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. And when you meet that person, you go, oh "My God, I can do it too. Mm -hmm. I can do it too." And that's what you did for that guy. That's awesome, man. Yeah. So like all that stuff, when you start. Compiling that because that'll be a constant reminder of why we're doing it. Um, because at the end of the day, like I mean, this is it costs money, and there's no revenue brought in. I um, mean, on the immediate, like short term. Um, but this is like a long term play of like we'll be able to do anything five years from now, ten years from now, um, anything, le legitimately. Uh, like when I met with Gary that uh, that event in Miami. And I explained it, and he was just, and I was just like, you know, it's five years, five years, not selling for five years. And when he said that, I was just, I, was like, I never really thought about it that way. He's like, don't you get it? If you do that for five years, like you'll never, ever have to think about how to monetize it. And I was just like, hmm, that's interesting. Yeah. Um, so it's something that no one's doing, and we can be a pioneer in it. And I guarantee you there's going to be droves of people that are going to want to do the same thing. And then that's how we can bring in revenue is helping them do that. Yeah. And then when you talk about like, building out an infrastructure and scaling impact. And that's literally, that's what you're talking about, scaling impact. impact. Now that is crazy. Like the stuff Gary's talking about lately, about how he wants to create this like integrity and kindness, being the new cool alpha male traits. Like that's like, you can change like 
a world with that. The world, yeah. And that's what we're going to be trying to do. And then also scaling other people to be able to do it as well. I mean, that's a big deal. Um, 